everybody. I just got home with a custom built 20 foot long sawmill trailer for my Harbor Freight mill with its extensions. I got the metal at a mega discount and it was a big 13 foot long table with four foot legs which I had cut off and welded on straight to make a 20 foot um, there was a three foot and a four foot give or take to make a 20 foot long trailer I got an axle at a junkyard and had it done professionally I did not play around on that I had that done professionally and they made shackle mounts for it everything done right and this this is amazingly unique to a sawmill this is a crane mount a removable either side I can put it on either side crane mount custom built for a crane that I probably will either show next or have shown by now that it's going to be on here with an electric winch so that is awesome i'm going to be able to pull up or lift up logs onto the mill without breaking my back that is great got some cross bracing from what was left of some of the metal some pieces were new i had to buy a little bit i think i don't know what's what anymore some pieces are new and some pieces were there and uh that's all new custom built beautiful i bought the uh hitch coupling and the rest is all custom built Oh, what a beauty. That is the new sawmill trailer. It's long. Look at that. It's going to be, what is it, 20, 24, 26 feet long, I think. I'm going to measure it. But I don't have a lot of time today because I need to get this painted. Um, I'm going to wash it. It has some dirt on it from where it was sitting. And I got to get it painted before um, this evening because it's going to turn cold on us again for the next 7 to 10 days. And I don't want to wait to work on this. I want to cover this uh, fresh, clean metal while I can. So I'm going to put this camera down and hurry up and get it going. They, uh, they did a job on this. I mean, this is, this is heavy, heavy, heavy duty sawmill trailer. All right, let me get to work. Well, I've been busy. I still have to take the wheels off. I should have done it first, but I wasn't thinking. I was really in a hurry, because I knew the sun was coming, and the end of the day was coming. But it's pretty. I did not get the bottom part yet. I'm gonna have to figure out how on earth I'm gonna do the bottom side. There's just not enough time, and they didn't have enough paint at the hardware store today for me to finish this. I got four cans is all they had, which was exactly enough to do this. Isn't that a beauty? Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. So that's where the crane goes, either side. I can reverse it. I definitely have to get those wheels off and finish under that. But, uh, yeah, I didn't paint the back yet because I am going to use that to jack it up one side at a time, get it up in the air to get those wheels off. And that way then I'll be able to finish that properly with the other rest of the can of paint I have. I wish they had more because I'd like to have hit it again. I see that there's some spots I really could touch up. But there it is, guys. Beautiful. That's a probably 25 foot end to end. I'm not sure. I'll, I'm going to measure it later on. That's probably 25 foot end to end. Well, over here, I had forgotten to wash that. I was in such a hurry to get the mill painted. That's the crane mount. So the crane is mounting on here. And those forks slide right into those brackets. And then I can winch up logs onto the mill and if the wood is heavy 
winch it on off without any work, just pressing a button. So uh, that's nice. All right, well, as soon as that's dry, I'm gonna finish painting that and uh, try to get it done. It's five o'clock in the afternoon already. That took me two and a half hours. Melanie helped me wash and dry, and then I painted it so far. Well, I got the crane mount painted on one side, and that's drying beautifully in the sun. And over here, we freed up, I can't see what I'm looking at, sorry. Over here, we freed up the carport. It was frozen into the ground. Thankfully, it comes apart easily. And uh, this is roughly where the mill's going to go. That's where the big old mill was. That's where the tires to the engine was. So it's the flattest spot on the property for now and the driest. And we just got this out because we're going to have a deep freeze coming on for the next 7 to 10 days. And we took advantage of the fact that it was easier to chisel out now. The feet were, one of them was under a foot and a half, two feet of snow. And uh, yeah, so that'll be my protection from the weather. And then those logs will be the first victims on the mill. So I think that's a day. I think that's it. I'm exhausted from, uh, I didn't even have lunch today. We just ran. Go, go, go. I didn't get the axles or under the axles done yet. I, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll take that off and do that real quick. See how I feel. I'm gonna go take a coffee break and maybe I'll paint that behind, uh, behind the wheels. I gotta take the wheels off to get the paint in behind them. But the most important thing was so that I can start on Sunday. This is uh, Friday. The most important thing was to get that top done so I could start putting the, uh, the mill together. So I think that's it, unless something comes up. That is a day. Please like this video. I'm liking it. Isn't that beautiful? This is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and your off-grid project. I'm gonna call it Frankenmill. It's gonna be a Frankenstein combination of stuff. Frankenmill is gonna live. Talk to you later.